In this tutorial, we're going to recreate Flowers by Miley Cyrus using Soundtrap. Step 1, start a new project and select Music. We'll decrease the tempo to 118 beats per minute. Step 2, select Patterns Beatmaker. First we'll change the sound of the drums by clicking Instrument, Kits, scroll down to 70s. Step 3, We'll program the rhythm pattern for the kit, starting with the kick drum. We'll put the kick on beats 1 and 3, and the snare on beats 2 and 4. We'll then put in a quaver rhythm on the hi-hats. Let's have a listen. Next we'll loop the drum kit over 4 bars. Step 4. Add in the bass line. Add a new track. Select Bass and 808. We'll change the instrument to Muted Pick. Select Instrument, Electric Bass, and scroll down to Muted Pick. Next, select Piano Roll so that we can input the notes for the bass line. Zoom in until you can see eight boxes in each bar. Our first note starts on A1. So select A1 and we'll stretch that over three steps. And then copy in the following rhythm. Let's have a listen. Step 5, we'll add in the chords. Add a new track. Select Synth. We'll change the instrument to Hacky Chords 01. Select Instrument, Synth, and scroll down to Hacky Chords 01. Select chords so that we can input the chords for the song. We'll use the chord generator to speed things up. First select A minor and add it to bar 1. Then select D minor for bar 2, G for bar 3, and C for bar 4. Let's have a listen. Step 6, we'll balance the sounds and add in some effects to make it sound a little closer to the original track. We'll decrease the drums volume to negative 5 and decrease the synthesizer to negative 10. Select Hacky Chords 01 and on the right hand side select the settings icon. Then we'll select movement and scroll down to tremolo. We'll also drag in the chorus effect. This will help to make the synthesizer sound a little bit more like the original instrument in Flowers. Let's have a listen. Go and listen to the original track and see how close yours sounds and maybe see if you can record your vocals over the top.